Hey everybody, this is Chad Keeler, field agronomist for Vex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Just wanted to review some things regarding fungicide applications and decision making on corn. Uh, often this time of year I get a lot of questions regarding uh, when to scout for disease, where to look for disease, how much disease needs to be present in order for me to make an application of a fungicide, what products should I use, should I use an insecticide with my fungicide, and will the fungicides help with anything else. So I want to just cover those topics here in, in the next few minutes. Um, as you can see here, I'm in a field that uh, has started to shoot some tassels out. We, and not every plant does have tassels. In fact, whenever we look at the definition of BT corn, 50% of the plants in the field need to be tasseled like this. So that's a little bit on the early side. Um, and especially if we don't have plants that are fully tasseled, we don't want to put adjuvants in the mix if we're making an early application prior to all the plants being tasseled out. So the first question I wanna um, approach is when to scout for disease. Uh, really uh, at the time whenever we start to see tassels like this, we can identify where the ear is going to be on the plant. And that's kind of the beginning of our scouting window. So here as we move down the plant, and kind of look inside the leaf axle here and see and near the collar region where that where that ear leaf is at and that's where we want to begin scouting uh, so if we identify the ear leaf and take a general look at the ear leaf the surface of it and also also uh, on the underside of the leaf as well but where I like to begin the scouting process at BT is looking two leaves below the ear leaf. So here's the ear leaf here. You see the ear is going to shoot here with silks. And then two leaves below. So here's one leaf below and here is the second leaf below right here. And that's where we really want to start inspecting that leaf. So look on the leaf surface, see if we have any lesions or if we're fairly clean. And in this particular field right now, we're fairly clean, not many disease lesions at all. We also want to look at the back side of that leaf as well. Okay, we want to look for disease lesions there as well. Sometimes you can identify uh, lesions on the back side of the leaf uh, before you can on the top side of the leaf. But if we see that pretty clean, we start to look a little bit lower down on the canopy and see if we can find any disease lesions at all. And as we look down lower in the canopy, because that's where disease starts to progress from, we can see we have a, a look, what looks to be like a gray leaf spot lesion there. And that's the disease that we're set up to find more of this year because of our temperatures that we have right now being very warm. We, and with warm, humid conditions, we usually see more gray leaf spot. So we are expecting more gray leaf spot this year in, in the geography that I'm at. And so we're going to set up uh, and prepare for that. We're going to keep an eye on this. So going back to that original question, how long or when should I scout for a disease? Whenever you start to see tassels in the field, you should really begin to scout that uh, corn plant for disease. And I would encourage you to scout all the way through what I would call the sweet corn stage of corn. So uh, R2, which is the blister stage, all the way to maybe R3 or the milk stage. So remember the sweet corn stage. So that's about a three to four week window. So that's a pretty long scouting window to make those application decisions. So we talked about where to look for disease, two leaves below. And the other thing is how much disease needs to be present in order for me to make an application or a decision to make a fungicide application. So the second leaf below the ear leaf, if we have disease lesions, and again, I said this is pretty clean. If we have disease lesions that add up to the size of a quarter, then we would make a fungicide application decision at that time. And usually if we have that amount of disease, we're going to make a fungicide application. The next question is uh, that I get a lot, what products should I use? Through Beck's practical farm research studies, we've identified three PFR proven fungicides for use in corn at that VT to R1 timing. Those three fungicides are Trivapro, Headline Amp, and Preemptor SC. Trivapro is a three-way fungicide mix from Syngenta containing group three, group seven, and group 11 fungicides. Group three fungicide is those triazoles that have curative properties. Group seven fungicide is a SDHI which has more preventative properties. And group 11 fungicide is also a uh, preventative fungicide that's a strobularin chemistry. So that's Trivapro. Second one would be Headline Amp from BASF. 
has a two-way mix of fungicides in it with a group 3 and group 11. And the third fungicide is Preemptor, which also has a group 3 and group 11 fungicides in it. The last one I'd like to mention to you is not PFR proven yet, but it is a new fungicide from Syngenta, Moravis Neo. So this Moravis Neo is a product that uh, has the strobilarin component, the triazole component, and also the SDHI. just has a new SDHI active ingredient in there uh, that is replacing the SDHI that is contained in Trivapro. So if we're going to plan for a fungicide application on a crop like this, and we don't see a whole lot of disease, but we want to go ahead and spray a fungicide, and we're expecting disease to infect because of the weather conditions that we have, we would want to rely more on a strobilarin in the chemistry than we would a triazole because the, remember the strobilarin is preventative. Should I use an insecticide with my fungicide? Obviously if you have uh, insects present that are at risk of feeding on the silks, and again here we don't see a whole lot of silks yet, but we will see those in the next week. Um, if we're seeing Japanese beetles clip on those silks, if we're seeing corn rootworm beetles, if we're seeing aphids, things like that, we definitely want to include an insecticide in our fungicide application. Will fungicides help with anything else? Yes. So the answer to that is yes. What will they help with? Basically a greening effect would be one thing, our strobilarins and our SDHIs. So I talked about those in the past here with Headline Amp, Trivapro, and Preempt or SC. All have that greening effect because it has strobilarin chemistry and the Trivapro product has that SDHI which is also preventative chemistry and has a greening effect. So we will have a longer grain fill period and we will uh, tend to improve stalk quality. So management of stalk rots would also be one thing that we could expect from a fungicide uh, at tassel time or at the silking time. Next thing I want to cover real quick here as I finish up is using our fungicide response ratings. So this year with our expected high disease pressure in areas that have had rainfall uh, with the warm or hot conditions we're expecting gray leaf spot to really infect. We, we don't expect a whole lot of northern corn leaf blight this year. Um, so those are two diseases that we really watch out for in this particular area. Others would be common rust and also southern rust. Those would typically come with drier conditions than what we have now and what we're expecting. But we take a look at our disease response ratings or our fungicide response ratings per hybrid. You can access that information on the internet with our uh, website and our fact sheets per hybrid. It shows the fungicide response ratings for each hybrid. But I would caution you, when you're using that information this year, you may want to not necessarily throw it out the window, but don't just don't uh, ignore those fields that have a low response to fungicide rating. Uh, those fields still need to be scouted and they need to be sprayed if we have enough infection that I was referring to earlier. So I know this is a little bit long recording here guys, but uh, just wanted to put out this video as a reminder on, on some things that I get common questions about. I think we will have a strong use of fungicides this year given the scenario that we're set up for. Thank you very much.